Hello, dear viewers, and welcome back to my channel, Haley's Beer Corner. Uh, today, we have as my co host is again Alfred, a Moomin forefather uh, who is fam has familial uh, relation to Badfield, who is also a Moomin ancestor, but the familial relation has 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 not been uh, made public and uh, will maybe released at some point okay so today we will have a look at an excellent stout uh once again uh lump of coal dark holiday stout uh this 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 particular uh dark holiday stout is uh, a is a lightly spiced Christmas stout uh, brewed by Ridgeway Brewing in England. Uh, true to its uh, style, this particular beer is um, fairly strong with uh, seven point five percent alcohol by volume. And in addition to in in addition, uh, lump of coal is coal black in color, uh, hence the name. Uh, so, what are stouts then? I've described these beers um, in my pre previous videos, but I will do it again. So, stout just as a reminder. Uh, of what we are actually talking about here today. So, uh, stouts are dark, dark brown to black in color. They are top, top fermented, meaning the yeast is on the fermentation, the, top, the yeast is on the top of the, the, the liquid of the wort that is then fermented to become beer. Uh, and there are a number of variations, including uh, including uh, imperial stout, oatmeal, oatmeal stout, and as an in, an interesting curiosity, there is something called um, milk stout, which contains uh, some contain uh, liquid uh, actual milk in them, as far as I can tell, and then some uh, contain lactose, which is a sugar that is found naturally in dairy products that is milk products uh, and that includes uh, human breast milk that can contain up to eight percent lactose um, and then historically the term stout state uh, date back to at least as early as 1677 in a documented in, in a document uh, documenting uh, beer, beer brewing, it, that, and it, it, this is included in uh, Egerton, Egerton uh, manuscripts, uh, and it's, it refers to a, the beer by its strength in alcohol by volume. Uh, stout, as stated uh, previously, are on the uh, higher or on the stronger end of beers uh, starting from seven to eight percent and with imperial stouts uh, up to 13.6 percent at least i know of i have one imperial stout in my uh, cabinet there which i'll talk about in a later video and that particular one has 13 percent 13.6 percent alcohol by volume. Um, so these stronger ones were called stout porters uh, back in the day in these Egerton manuscripts. Throughout history, there were um, very little to no difference between uh, porter and stout, as far as I can tell. From what I, from what I found, and then for example, uh, stout, 
uh, include Guinness famously and many of these uh, holiday beers tend to be especially those on the uh, stronger end when it comes to alcohol uh, per uh, by volume uh, tend to be stouts uh, and then porters um, refer referred to a type of um, dog certain type of dog beer has been found as early as in uh, early 1700s uh, in other videos I talked about imperial stouts and taste and review and will do so in the future uh, I have a few uh, few uh, such beers in the queue uh, and the, these uh, styles are somewhat close imperial stouts are uh, a lot stronger than stouts the, in a traditional sense um, the stouts that I the imperial stouts that I have are all, all of them are around nine and a half nine and a half and ten percent alcohol by volume and over as stated previously one of my beers that i have is 13.6 uh, and one of my favorite belgian beers is castel is 11 percent so they are there's a little slight di difference there and just for the and for those who do not know the uh, stout and imperial stout uh, the different the um, by definition the difference difference is that it was imported to the court of Catherine the Great of Russia and that was I believe in the 1700s uh, when when um, Rails Anchor Brewery in London started producing this particular type of uh, stout and, and then started uh, exporting it to the, ex almost exclusively to the court of Catherine the Great of Russia and that's where it got the name Imperial Stout. So I have now poured myself a glass. Uh, a new glass that I got for Christmas it's supposed to be some kind of a general stout glass so as you can see the color is truly like a lump of coal it's really really black it's really black like throughout black throughout and the head is very uh, firm high uh, high uh, or tall and firm not quite as firm as uh, for example Guinness but it's still uh, very high and thick mm. there is that uh, it's very the taste is very full which is good and it's the body of the, the bot is a bit um, not that sweet as um one one may might might expect from a some may expect from a stout it's um a bit bit more uh roasty it does it feels as if it's been a bit roasted a bit further you know uh a lot more roasty anyway and maybe a bit slightly more hopped uh than many other stouts that I've tasted mm. but very the um, very full-bodied and very very good I highly recommend it's a lump a uh, lump of coal by by uh, Shelton Brothers uh, this, to it's been the importer is uh, Shelton Brothers of the US 
by the way. I I know no idea what the bottle in Finland says. It's um it's been imported to the US, but it's originally uh bottled by Ridgeway Brewing in England. An English stout, excellent one. Really uh it was really worth the penny of, of buying that um that particular bottle of brew really really good an excellent an excellent example of british uh brewing once again thank you very very much for watching uh i've been here with alfred uh back is relative my co-host on my beer channel back uh back is my co-host with stefan on my main channel Hades Corner. Let's have uh, Alfred go there and rest. So please check the links in the description box below and also um, tap the like, uh, subscribe and tickle the notification bell so that you can get all the notifications for more content like this on my channel and also check my main channel if you haven't already for some curious reason and um yeah i'll see you in the next one